Hi, welcome to Carbon Capture Canada's C3 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Today I'm joined by James Miller, President and CEO of the International CCS Knowledge Centre. James, thanks for being here. Hi, Rachel. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. James, tell us about the International CCS Knowledge Centre. Well, other than being a mouthful for a name, we're an organization that's been around since uh, 2016. And ostensibly, we were formed to share knowledge with the world, focused on carbon capture and storage, build a greener future. So we're able to take the knowledge gained from being in partnership with a facility in Southern Saskatchewan, in Estevan, Saskatchewan. And it's the first of a kind in the world of having a CCS facility bolted on to a coal-fired power plant, the size of three US football fields, 110 feet high at at its highest point. So it's very large. Being associated with a facility that's been operating for eight years, we've learned a lot, and there's not a lot of them in the globe. We're able to speak to it from the heart of knowing how to construct operate and execute on a facility and provide those learnings. How important is CCS to fighting climate change and achieving the Paris Agreement? Well, it's a good question. And you just have to look at the UN's International Panel on Climate Change and the International Energy Agency. And both have said it's critical that we have large scale CCS projects adopted. If we don't, we will not meet the aggressive targets of Paris We will not meet the aggressive targets set by countries around the world, especially in Canada. And you've got similar commitments made in the UK and in other countries globally, all working toward net zero emissions by 2050. Without CCS, as many have said, it's not going to happen. So it's critically important. Why has Canada been a leader in large scale CCS development? And what are the biggest opportunities for Canada going forward? Canada's always been a leader in whether it be technology, whether it be industry, whether it be government creating the right environments and of the facilities in the globe in the range of 27. um, There are five in Canada, so we have a large share in our country. The energy industry has been really focused on lowering emissions, so I think Canada's always had that commitment. We pack a punch and then fight above our, our fighting weight in what we have done in sharing policy with the world, in sharing technology. And I think one just has to look at the commitments made by the government of Canada in the last two years, whether it be at COP in Glasgow last year, and even recently in saying to the energy industry that you need to decrease your emissions by 42% compared to 2019 levels by 2030. I think aggressive targets leading the way through legislation, through policy, and I, I would argue we've done a very good job in this space for a long time. How necessary is incentivizing large scale CCS projects. Well, I used the analogy where I had the two projects, one that had a 10% rate of return and one that had zero, and that's CCS. That's the direction the world is headed. If we're going to build a greener future for our children, we have to keep the carbon out of the air. If you're going to burn the fossil fuels that we all rely on every day, we're going to continue to want and use oil for a long time. Let's keep that carbon in the ground. So it's it's a nice balance. Let's talk Carbon Capture Canada. How important is an event like this in building a low carbon ecosystem of professionals in Canada? I think it's I think it's critical. You know, you look at what uh, the Pathways Alliance has done in Alberta, uh, the largest uh, energy producing company is 95% of the emissions. They've all banded together to share technology to work together toward a common goal of net zero by 2050. And I see that happening uh, at a conference like this, where you're bringing together people from across Canada, there's people coming from the US, there's people coming from overseas. So you get together, you have conversations, you talk about what you're doing, you learn from others, you forge relationships, you build business partnerships, but hopefully by bringing everyone together in Edmonton, that we all can work toward that common goal of building that greener future for our children, doing it in a responsible way from a responsibility to the environment, I would say a responsibility to business, responsibility to the energy sector, where we all can continue to benefit from the projects that we rely on each and every day. So having all those people come together 
you get those synergies, Rachel, that you're not going to get through a Zoom call or a Teams call or a one-on-one -on -one conversation. This is probably the start of something very good in having an annual event like this. Thank you, James, for chatting with me today and being part of our C3 series. We're excited to see you at Carbon Capture Canada. I'm excited to be there, Rachel. Thanks so much.